Hi Virgo, welcome back. I will be using my Shadowscapes Tarot to explore love, romance, relationships and also career, business and finance. So a few things in the general reading um, that I mentioned, walking away for a new opportunity. There's a window of opportunity to take action. This will be required and it could prove to be quite good emotionally, um, financially, anything to do with that um, Venus energy which can point to money and abundance as well so first of all let's have a look at love and romance what is coming up king of cups page of wands eight of cups the death card the magician and last card the four of wands Okay, the fact that the Eight of Cups has come up twice, I really believe some of you are actually leaving behind a connection with someone here. You're turning your back on someone. It could be a fire sign. You do have Scorpio, Aries, Cancer. <clears throat> um, but you want something deeper. Okay, why does the Eight of Cups walk away? Or in this particular card, they swim away. You have the King of Cups because you know you deserve more love, Virgo. <clears throat> You know that you deserve something deeper, something meaningful, something more intense, something more, you know, that pulls at your heartstrings more, Virgo. It could be cancer, uh, Cancerian energy coming through between yourself and a significant other in a relationship. King of Cups is definitely knowing your emotions, knowing what direction you need to go in and acting on it, okay? It's when we're on top of our emotions, when we're in control of our emotions, we understand how, we understand how we can move away from a certain situation. We understand that enough is enough. We control our emotions. Only we are allowed to designate how we feel. And if someone is making you feel lack or limitations, I do see some of you leaving, okay? Page of Wands, walking away. There is a fire sign coming in, a destined fire sign coming in for some of you, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay, this person is younger than you. Um, they're promising adventure, okay? They're promising something very beautiful over here. They're still at a distance though, okay? And it's going to require, funnily enough, this Eight of Cups, again, is going in different directions. It's going to require a parting of ways here, Virgo. The Page of Wands is impulsive. The Page of Wands, when, when he sees an opportunity, he strikes. He does not hesitate to take it. And I believe this is what some of you are going through in April, okay? You're just going to have this surge of energy or motivation to leave behind a situation that isn't helping you. In fact, it's hindering you. It's hindering your emotions. You know, and that notion of lack is coming up. Absolutely. And you also have the death card, which is the ultimate ending. This is the ultimate loss, okay? Some of you are losing something emotionally. Either you're losing someone's love or someone is losing your love, Virgo. The death card, Scorpio energy. Putting a major end to something here. No longer can you search the depths for meaning. No longer can you search for substance. No longer can you make excuses why your connection should be um, continued. The death card is the ultimate. I don't. I mean, it could be betrayal, Virgo, but I see it's the ultimate ending here for a lot of you of a relationship. But you're still going to be attached to this person, okay? You can't just erase them. I'm still seeing that you'll be attached in some way, shape or form. You also have the Magician, which is the ruler of new beginnings, as is the Death card, because with death, with loss, comes new life. Um, and I believe it's in the form of an Ace of Wands that's coming to you. Definitely an Aries coming in for a lot of you, or a fire sign you're going to meet at a venue, um, at a celebration of some kind here. It could be on travels, through relocation, through movement, maybe. Possibly at some sort of venue, um, at at some sort of performance here as well. Um, new beginnings. This is going to be a different kind of dynamic, Virgo. Okay, this is something you're not used to here. A little bit alternative, 
but you can fall in love with this person very very quickly is what I'm seeing I also feel like some of you are being manipulated into staying in a relationship because either you you believe you have to honor your vows and you know absolutely in one aspect that's very important but in another I feel like someone might be manipulating to us to a certain extent Virgo manipulating or making you stay because of they're making you revisit all those beautiful fond memories with the four of ones you know that's all about enjoyment and we're married and we've been through so much together and think of all the good and although that's very nice is it their way of making you stay is it their way of tinkering the way you're seeing the perception that you have of your connection or of what your connection maybe used to be and maybe it used to be that beautiful four of ones and it was enjoyable and you'd leap into the sunset and everything was hunky-dory but maybe that's evaded you okay maybe that no longer stands Virgo and maybe that window of opportunity is opening up for you and it could lead you to something very very magical <clears throat> with someone else but of course there could be rebirth the death card brings things from the past so there could be a resurgence, okay, rising from the ashes once again. A connection, a relationship that you've had once upon a time may actually be coming back here. Okay, there's a lot of emotion involved. It could be an ex-spouse or someone you were fianced to or wanted to get married to is, is possibly coming back into the picture. They've changed, I feel. They want growth. But for some reason, there's a bit of reservations here, either from them or from you. Um, we'll have to see if that stands the test of time in April. Let's move on and have a look at career. Creative pursuits. Okay, the high priestess. Okay, the hermit. You've come up in your own reading. Career is definitely on fire. Powerful changes, illuminations, lessons, reveals, and announcements will be made. Because you've got the high priestess here. Okay, major reveals. Um, launches, events, um, reveal of potential jobs, um, announcements in the workplace, announcements of um, announcements that will affect you of other people involved. A bit of mysticism here. Intuition is very heightened around you in the workplace or in your career, Virgo. Um, there can be someone that's very powerful. It may be a female, someone very powerful that will announce or release something to the open and you're going to be very interested okay you're very perky you're very alert you're very upright so you're obviously very interested in what the high priestess reveals here some sort of change ace it's sitting near the ace of wands could this be a reveal of a new job opportunity it could come from foreign shores it could be at a distance to you um the hermit card is here okay you will be very very suited to this role your analytics your attention to detail, um, that logician mind of mind of yours, it's very switched on. Um, it's definitely has it definitely will have your curiosity peaking, is what I'm seeing. There is major news around you in the workplace or in the career. In your careers, um, But the hermit, the hermit is going. It's going to get you into overdrive. Okay, maybe even a little bit panicky because you got you have the eight of swords. Okay, there is an announcement coming or will come, and you'll feel like you can't. You can't either tell other anyone about it. So it might be something you know secretly, Virgo, and you can't tell anyone about this and news um, because you feel stuck in communication. Communication is blocked off for you. Okay. Um, I do believe there could be some workplace gossip. Be careful because the Ten of Swords is here, the Eight of Swords. Um, there's a tricky situation you'll get yourself in here, Virgo, or someone around you will get themselves in. Um, <clears throat> there's definitely fierce competition and the Devil card is here. You're going to learn someone's true colors in the workplace is what I'm seeing, okay? There might be that window of opportunity for you to actually speak going to overdrive and actually reveal how you feel but for the most part you may feel somewhat confined restricted could be a capricorn coming through here or a fire sign in aries sagittarius or leo the capricorn can show manipulation of someone trying to take you for granted someone weaving a little bit of a web here um 
Taboo activities may be happening around you in the workplace. Theft, gossip, um, unethical decisions being made here by a higher power, a superior, a boss in the form of a Capricorn. The devil card is here. Um, possibly affairs happening in the workplace or a lot of disruptions and or arguments because you also have the five of wands, which is lack of cohesion. Something isn't working well together. People have differences of opinions. And in fact, that isn't going to sit well the notion that someone feels very restricted, <coughs> excuse me, and isn't able to move um, is coming up. I, I see you learning something about this person with the Four of Cups here. This is all about illumination and it'll make you think differently about them, Virgo, um, or they'll think differently about you. Some of you are really in a period of reflecting. Um, you're actually considering some major career changes here for some of you. Um, emotionally, there's a lack of fulfillment here in, in the workplace. Um, and you may be feeling a little bit anxious, okay? You may be feeling you're not, you're not getting enough creativity or you want to be more creative and your career, your workplace doesn't necessarily allow for it. <clears throat> and there goes the search, the search for something deeper. I actually believe a lot of you are coming into a more creative um, venture here. Some of you feel like you have to defend your dreams or defend your goals this month against other people. Someone has taken away something from you. You can see the, the raven or the crow and it's taken away the crown of this man. Or oh, this woman, sorry. And she's, you know, she's naked. She's all revealed. She doesn't have even clothes on her back. And it's been stripped of your title. I'm not sure if someone is trying to take something away from you, trying to strip you off your benefits, your goods. Be careful, okay? Tread lightly around this person because there's someone around you that doesn't necessarily have the true intentions here, okay? Um, isn't as sincere as you'd want them to be. But I do see this person, you, you're in overdrive, so you know there's some sort of intuitive ability. Um, and I do believe this spills over to career. You know deep down that this person isn't, <clears throat> doesn't have your best interest at heart. With the hermit, okay? You'll know. Oh, you'll know. You, you've got insight. You've got your lantern. You've got insight here, Virgo. So you know exactly what this is about. Um, you could be revealed. I feel like there might be a little birdie. Someone around you, you know, you might hear something, a secret, um, a piece of information that will help you in your career. It could be about someone else, but I feel like a little birdie is going to come to you in a time when you feel quite restricted. Um, for some reason, you're restricted in communication. You've got swords. Either people are watching you, they're vigilant of you, but there's a little birdie that's going to come and be your saving grace in April and pass on some key information about this dark energy potentially with the Capricorn something that's happening here that's a little bit taboo a little bit unethical um, it might be happening to you Virgo of course it might be happening to someone else but I feel like this little birdie which has come up twice could they be playing double agent here as well it's hard to say only time will tell because they've come to help you but they also you know that there's a darker side to them and they're hovering around the devil. Okay, so this little birdie, you have to question the motives of this person being the messenger. Of course, don't shoot the messenger, but you have to question their motives, which I do see you doing, um, Virgo. Now, this could be about people that you work with, bosses, um, people that work for you. So, I mean, it, it could be a number of things, really, but hopefully that gives you some sort of insight into what could happen in Korea in April. Um, I will leave it at that, though, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching.